Hello class. So before we start our lesson for today, um, I would like to ask you how are you, Miss Claveria? I am doing good so far. That's good to hear. And how about you, Miss Kalimlim? Same with me, sir. I'm doing fine. Okay, so that's good to hear. And for today's lesson, we want I want to start this lesson with a conversation between two people that just met each other at a birthday party because they have a mutual friend. Okay, so we're going to read it and I want you to um, choose which person that you will going to impersonate. Okay, so let me share my screen. Let's read and here's the conversation. And who will be the one to play as Jude and who will be the one to play as Jean? Ako na lang po si Jude. Okay, so you're going to be Jude and Miss Kalimlim will going or will Jean. be Jean, okay? And start. Hello, I am Jude. I am a relative of the celebrant. It is nice meeting you, Jude. By the way, I am Jean. I am a friend of your relative. Are you? Yeah, we became friends because she was my classmate when we were still in junior high. Oh, it's you. She was always talking about you. She told us that you are one of her closest friends. Did she? I never knew that because she never told me. Don't worry. She did not have any bad stories about you. She told me you are a very kind person. Oh, am I? Just kidding. She was the same to me and we've had a fair share of good memories. I like the music. Let's dance. Shall we? Okay, so that's just a short conversation between two people that just met each other at a birthday party. And... What do you think or what do you notice in their conversation? The way they talk or the way the conversation flow or how they ask each other questions? Any um, things that you noticed? Miss um, Kalimlim, how about you? What do you notice? For persons that met for the first time, they are really comfortable with each other and they provided questions to each other yes that's what i noticed too ever even though they just met each other they feel safe with each other because they're um they're able to talk with each other comfortable diba? so how about you miss claveria what do you notice? Um, same, with, same with Jewel po. I noticed how comfortable they are in talking with each other. And I also noticed the use of some questions. Like, for example, when Jean told Jude that it is nice to meet, to meet Jude. And she told her that she is a friend of Jude's relative. And then Jude asked him, are you? And it's... It's like a sequence. Whenever Jean is saying something or a statement, then Jude is following it with questions. Yes, that is correct. That's a good. Uh, that's good that you notice it, and sometimes they are um, having short questions or making short questions because they feel like they are doubting the person or sometimes we use short questions as a, as a form of sarcasm right and so since you you did a good job in noticing the short questions that is in the conversation now let's have a short activity just a short activity and it is called pair it so i have different phrases that um, have different statements and they have different answers or the answers would be the different short questions and now um you will try to 
compare them in order for the phrases to make sense with one another. Okay? So, here it is. So, th these are the um, phrases. I am hungry. She is. Can you? I can dance hip-hop. It is so hot. Are you? You do? My mom is a good cook. I like to write poems. Is it? So now, I'm giving you a few minutes to think about it. What are the phrases that match or connect with each other? So after a few minutes, I will try to ask you what are the um, phrases that pair with each other, okay? Okay, so did you have answers already? If so, please answer. Um, ako po man. Okay, so since we have uh, one, two, three, four, and five, um, I will let Miss Claveria to answer three phrases or three phrases that you matched, okay, or you paired. Um, I am hungry. And the short question is, are you? Next is, I can dance hip-hop. Can you? And it is so hot. The short question is, is it? Okay. So, I will not tell you the answer right away. So, I'm letting Miss Kalimlim to answer the last two phrases that should be matched with each other. Okay? Okay. Um, my mom is a good cook. She is, and I like the right poems. Do, you do? Okay, so to put it simply and also to congratulate you, your, the, all of your answers are correct. So I'm kind of proud because you answered it easily, although this is the first time that I thought you about short questions. And since you answered all of the phrases or you paired it um, correctly, I would like to ask you how or what are the hints that um, you used in order to answer or pair these phrases. Okay, Miss Claveria, what are your hints or clues? I look at the noun or the subject of the sentences and that's how I concluded that uh, that is suitable for the statement. Okay, so you look first for the subject or for the noun. Okay, so how about you, Miss Kalimlim? I also based on the nouns. Um, I paired it with the nouns on the short questions. That is half true because we're not just looking for the nouns or the subjects. In the statements or phrases, we're also looking for the verb because that is also in, an important part in formulating short questions. We are looking for the subject first and then the verb. Like for example, the statement, my mom is a good cook. And since our subject is my mom, so what is the um, appropriate subject for the short question? And I believe that um, the pronoun will be replaced with she, okay? And since we have a verb or a linking verb, which is the word is, we will just copy it into the short question. So, what did we form? The short question, she is, 
Okay. So, um, I can dance hip hop. So, um, just the same with earlier, um, we first look at the subject, which is I. And since the other person is talking to me, then the I will be replaced into the word you. Okay? So, again, we have a linking verb. So, we will copy it. And the um, proper short question will be, can you? And last is, um, I like to write poems. So, again, the subject in the sentence or the phrase is I and the verb is like. And since we're forming short questions with or through subject and um, the verb, we will use um, the I and the like, okay? So, we will change the word I into the word you and we will replace the verb like into a corresponding or applicable verb for the short question, which is do. Okay, so that is all. Did you learn something from this lesson on how we formulate short questions? Yes, sir. Yes, okay. pastor. So that's good since you learned something from me today. And I'm also proud once again because you've easily tackled short questions. Okay, so let me um, stop sharing my screen. And that is all. And bye-bye.